Well, we are following another developing story out of Niagara County. Here is something you don't see every day in the creek you walk or drive by. Yeah, that's 500 gallons of waste oil. It happened in Cayuga Creek in Niagara Falls. And as 7 Eyewitness News reporter Sierra Johnson found out, whomever is responsible could face criminal charges. This isn't something that we've seen, you know, happen before. I think we were lucky that someone, uh, you know, a kayaker saw this. It was this scene, nearly 500 gallons of oil floating atop Cayuga Creek that caught the attention of kayakers and eventually the attention of the DEC. Most of the effort has been focused on trying to determine uh, you know, how uh, this material got in the creek. Niagara Falls Mayor Paul Deister says right now an investigation is underway to determine how hundreds of gallons of what investigators believe to be waste oil made its way through a storm water pipe near the intersection of Niagara Falls Boulevard and Tuscarora Road and into Cuyahoga Creek. A spill investigators believe likely happened sometime between Sunday night and midday Monday. Um, but the size and the scale and the nature of this spill, um, the evidence just really points to that this was a deliberate action. In action, Jill Jedlica with Buffalo Riverkeeper says is concerning. But a, a spill of this magnitude and considering probably how it happened, it's not something that our community should be complacent about. And today a cleanup was underway. Investigators used special vacuum pumps to suck up the oil in any possibly contaminated water. Mayor Deister says right now the spill is now almost cleaned up and the region's dryer weather actually aided in preventing the oil from washing downstream. But the mystery remains who is responsible for the spill. The community engaged, so we really encourage citizens and um, residents of Western New York that if they see something that doesn't look right when it comes to their waterways to, to either give us a call or give the agencies a call. And Mayor Deister says he does not believe this spill will impact the city's drinking water, but that Riverkeeper organization says it's too early still to gauge the impact the spill could have on water quality and nearby soil quality. I'm live in the newsroom, Sierra Johnson 7, Eyewitness News. Okay, thank you, Sierra.